In Coffee Group today, we're joined by parenting advisor John Cowan and psychologist Sarah Chatwin to talk about parents who overshare on the internet. But first, remember this. <laughs> oh, ouch. Ouch. Ouch, Charlie. It is the original viral kid video seen a staggering 850 million times over nine years. Researchers found the average parent will post almost 1,000 photos of their child before he or she turns five. 92% of all kids will have an online presence before they are two. Now, Sarah, we all post our parent oh. pride pics of our little darlings. When does it go too far? I just think oversharing and social media go hand in hand these days, and we really have to have an awareness or be mindful of exactly what we do put out there, because as a parent, for younger children, you're the boss. You, you actually need to think about how this is going to appear to them in Google, Dr mm -hmm. Google as we like to call yeah. him, you know, as, as time goes on. And also Facebook memories is a great a reminder of that when you see things <laughs> that you posted eight years ago. Now John, this is the first generation really of our children who yeah. are experiencing, who are growing up with uh, everything, all of their private private lives being shown to the world really isn't it? it's a very steep learning curve for parents that's right now teenagers are probably ahead of us here 76 percent of teenagers are concerned about their online privacy and i don't think they're going to be very grateful to realize that every moment since their pre-birth scan is sitting there on facebook <laughs> including all the details about uh, that that it usually unlock passwords and things like your first pet's name and your mother's maiden name and already cyber criminals are drilling down through Facebook data to get private information to get into your, into your finances and things. Okay, do we think the embarrassing videos and the pictures that we as parents post of our little babies, uh, do they have potential to be harmful or damaging to kids? I don't necessarily think that they will be harmful but I think it could be harmful to your relationship with your child because mm. as your child grows up they say why the heck did you put that out there for everyone to look at mm. because a lot of parents make the choice to mm. to put these things out there because they want to share with close friends and family members little do you know that it actually goes you know worldwide and beyond so I don't know whether you know you're going to be creating a raving sociopath anytime soon but you may <laughs> be <Let's hope> not. <laughs> fingers crossed yeah. um, don't know about that little Charlie though but I, <laughs> <laughs> but I think that you might be damaging your relationship with your child because they need to know that they can count on you, not that you're going behind their back to post things on Facebook. OK, John, do you reckon we should get permission from our children before we post about them? Well, we can't when they're toddlers. No. <laughs> but when I'm should speaking... Should Mummy post this gorgeous picture of you looking adorable <laughs> with your fruit on it? No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we want our kids to eventually make good decisions about their own privacy and how much they share, and so I think we should be modelling that to them. A good alternative to Facebook is Instagram, where you can control who gets to see it much more easily than you can with Facebook. Mm -hmm. And the filters are very pretty, I hear. <laughs> so, there's nothing like an Instagram a good filter, filter to make yeah. you look magnificent, that is for sure. Yeah. Uh, but Facebook also has some quite good areas where you can, you can share with just friends or with just family yes, or you can customise. But Facebook privacy is, is complex and changing and you sometimes find the default settings have changed without you knowing it. Okay. And so I think sometimes there might be other platforms that might be a little bit easier to use. As parents too, we should choose very wisely what we choose to share yeah. as well, shouldn't we? We exactly. shouldn't choose our yeah. naked photos, obviously. We should choose ones that are going to embarrass them later on. I've got the most amazing photo of my son as a toddler, which I cannot share <laughs> as much as I would love to because he would kill me, but I, I'm not Great. going to choose that. So yeah. from That's both, being responsible. Just very quickly, what is one far, hard and fast rule that you would live by to um, share on, on Facebook about your children? Until a child has a voice, mm. I think until they're of an age where they have a voice and they can decide, don't do anything naked or nude or rude or silly. OK, and John? Is it, yes, is it a respectful picture? And be uh, aware of other people's children and party photographs and things as well. Very valid point. Thank you so much. Always great advice. John Cowan from The Parenting Place and Sarah Chatwin from MindWorks. And if you've got a subject that you'd like to put to our coffee group, you can contact us on Facebook.